When you walk into your local grocery store, you may notice tissue, gone. Clorox, gone. Even bottled water. Managers I spoke with here at the Piggly Wiggly tell me these aren't the only items folks are buying. Groceries really is a overall standpoint because everybody's cooking at home now. They're not going out for dinner. Assistant manager of Piggly Wiggly, Heather Brakefield says, with a lot of panic buying going on, they try to keep their shelves stocked as much as possible. We order everything that's empty on the shelves every time we order. And so we're not guaranteed that it's gonna be on our trucks, but we are ordering it. During this pandemic, Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin ordered a shelter in place, which means non-essential businesses must close, leaving many out of work with no paycheck. We've hired several employees from restaurants in the area who have been displaced through this as to help us meet our need to service our customers. She says with the sale of bread being in high demand, the store partnered with a local bread company. While they're not able to have the bakery open to the public, they're still able to sell their products. And to make the customer shopping experience a little safer, starting Monday, you will see a sneeze guard in every location. That just gives us an extra barrier because we can't be six feet apart to protect us from anything coming in contact with us as employees and from you as a customer. Employees and managers here at Piggly Wiggly say they are always looking for more help during these uncertain times. If you would like to know more about working here, you can download the WVTM 13 app. In Birmingham, Xavier Harris, WVTM 13. When Dixie stores are creating special shopping hours for people impacted by the coronavirus, they'll be extending shopping hours from 8 till 9 Monday and Tuesday nights for health care providers and first responders, such valuable members of our community. They already offer a special shopping hour for seniors and high risk customers from seven to eight weekday mornings. There is a national shortage of personal protective equipment for health care workers. The Jefferson County Department of Public Health continues to collect as much of these items as they possibly can. Some of the supplies needed N95 masks, surgical masks, gloves and hand sanitizer. Donations are accepted weekdays at the Christian Service Mission Warehouse. That's on 3rd Avenue South in Birmingham. You can find a list of the needed items on the WVTM 13 app. They're also accepting homemade face masks and gowns. The virus has many people flocking to the lake, one of the few places that's uh, frankly still open. We stopped by Smith Lake in Winston County today where people were spending time in the water, as you see. State troopers say they've already noticed an increase in the number of accidents on the lake, and that's why they say they're focused on enforcing normal traffic rules like no speeding, no alcohol, and making sure folks wear their life jackets. It's kind of business as usual right now, just trying to make sure that, that everybody is minding the law and doing what they're supposed to do. Boaters are encouraged to follow health guidelines while out on the water. Those are practicing social distancing by keeping six feet away from others, even on a boat, and not being in gatherings of more than 10 people. Several churches are sending us information about Sunday services tomorrow. Many will be streaming services online. You can find a full list of those houses of worship on the WVTM 13 app. Locals across Jefferson County are taking to their sidewalks to chalk the walk. Using colored chalk, people of all ages are creating positive messages and as they venture out on walks, runs, and bike rides, they're showing off. We want to see what you create. So please send us some pictures, messages to our email, and we'll spotlight them beginning tomorrow. Families in Jefferson, St. Clair, and surrounding counties are also getting creative. Folks are using teddy bears as signs of hope. There's one in the window. People are placing those bears in the windows, getting parents to drive or go on walks with their kids around neighborhoods looking for the cute bears. Deputy Michael Robinson with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office got in on the act by placing bears in his patrol car. Usually every time I come on shift, I'll have my windows down as soon as I come in. Um, but when I'm monitoring traffic, I'll notice people staring, pointing, uh, and kids as well. You know, they're, uh, I'll be at a red light and they pull up beside me and they're giving me a thumbs up, waving, you know, we're waving back. Little things mean a lot. Deputy Robinson says the idea started from the children's book, We're Going on a Bear Hunt by Michael Rosen and Helen Oxenbury. He posts he's seen that on uh, social media as well. Really great to see, isn't it? Necessity is the mother of invention. What a fun way to stay strong, Alabama. If you're doing anything cool to keep yourself or your family entertained, send those pictures or videos to us on Facebook or email 
at WVTM13 at WVTM.com. We'll share them as we get them. Make sure to download the free WVTM13 app for the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic in our world. There you'll find the latest on that new state health order at the top of the telecast. Locations providing meals for students, testing information, and hotline numbers. The updates are on that homepage or look through the coronavirus tab. Please turn on notifications so you never miss a single alert. The Reverend Joseph Lowry, born in Alabama and sometimes called the Dean of the Civil Rights Movement, has died. WVTM 13 Xavier Harris spoke with a local civil rights activist about Lowry's dedication and hard work. It's a big loss for the entire world. In fact, after civil rights icon Reverend Joseph Lowry's family released the news of his death, many folks posted their condolences online. Former President Barack Obama saying Lowry was a giant who let so many of us stand on his shoulders. Senator Doug Jones says he was a man of great courage, but also humility. He was a God sent person. God sent him here uh, to assume a role and to carry out a task. And he was certainly dedicated. Bishop Calvin Woods, a friend of Lowry, says he was often called the Dean of the Civil Rights Movement. We've come to turn the cradle of the Confederacy into the crib of democracy. Come it's on, time on. to Come move. On. He served uh, as president of the SCLC longer than any person God permitted to serve. Wood says Lowry was a God-fearing man built from a great family. He says although he is no longer on earth, the legacy he leaves behind will never be forgotten. He stood up uh, so much against uh, insect, against uh, injustice and segregation. Lowry was surrounded by his family when he died on Friday. A family spokesperson told us Lowry's death was not related to the coronavirus and that his family is asking for privacy. In Birmingham, Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.